On the channel, guys, I love to report on EV sales in Europe, in particular in certain countries. In Germany, what were the 10 best selling cars so far this year? Here's the full list. I mean, it's no surprise who's in number one, but the other numbers, well, those are interesting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I've just been reading some, some comments and boy, I'm going to stop doing that. That's, um, that's an interesting experience to read comments about yourself, criticizing you. Some people like you, some people hate you. It's, um, it's a challenge to deal with that, I have to say. So generally, I try not to read too many comments. Anyhow, that's the top 10 best-selling electric cars in Germany in the month of March. Number one, uh, no real surprise here, the Tesla Model Y with 3,244 deliveries. Now, a lot of people are saying, um, some so-called EV experts are saying that the Tesla Model Y has reached peak Tesla. There won't be any increase in Tesla Model Y sales this year. It doesn't matter if there's a Juniper version. There's a, a thing called market saturation. Now, I don't actually agree with that for a couple of reasons. One, Tesla just revealed what I think is the best version of the Model Y ever. It's the model that I personally would want. It's the long range that now has a single motor. So Tesla removed the front motor, meaning it gets a lot more range. That model now gets 373 miles of range, which is 600 kilometers on the WLTP cycle, and it's 6,000 euros cheaper than the Model Y long range. You can see why there could be a, a little spike in demand over the next few months for Model Ys. I think that, that vehicle is going to be extremely popular. Second place, the Volkswagen ID4 and ID5 twins, 2,248 deliveries. And third was the Seat Cupra Born with 1,242. Fourth, Mercedes EQA, same number of sales really, 1,241. The Skoda Enyaq was in fifth with 1,205. Volkswagen ID3, sixth, Audi e-tron, seventh, BMW iX1, BMW i4, Mercedes EQE, Hyundai Kona was next, followed by the Smart for Two, Opel Corsa, Dacia Spring. Guys, you can see here down the end of this list, you got the Dacia Spring right down the bottom. You got the Smart number one, you got the Volvo EX30 and the Audi Q8 each on the Fiat 500e and the Tesla Model 3 very far down the list, 545. Surprise numbers for the Tesla Model 3 there. It could be the fact that, um, you know, Tesla doesn't build the Model 3 in Europe and they're shipping some Model 3s from China and they're on, on route. So that's possible, possibly the reason for that slow month of Model 3 sales. But what I am finding interesting here, the top 10 best-selling cars in Germany in the month of March, they were none of them were really Chinese vehicles. They weren't. Uh, not a single one. The only real uh, Chinese vehicle in this list is, I mean, the Dacia Spring, but that's not perceived to be Chinese. It's made in China but it's obviously owned by a European car company. So yeah, there's no BYDs, there's no MGs, there's no NEO, there's, yeah. And we've just heard that apparently there are thousands and thousands of cars blocking ports in, in Europe, all across Europe, uh, with Chinese electric cars, which have been sitting there for many months. No one really knows the full reason to why that's happening. I speculated on what I think. I'll put a link in the description below. So what are the best selling cars for the last quarter? in Germany. So this so far this year for all of 2024. Clean Technica has reported the results. Number one is the Tesla Model Y, which is miles ahead of everyone else. I don't think we expected it to be this far ahead, but um, maybe some people did, I didn't. Number one, Model Y, 11,045 deliveries, meaning, I mean, nearly three times as many as the Volkswagen ID4 and ID5 put together with 4,226 and in second place. Third, Skoda Enyaq, 3,922, Audi Q4 e-tron, Mercedes EQA, BMW i4, Volkswagen ID3, Mercedes EQE, CA Cooper Born, Smart for Two, BMW iX1, and then that's the, the only Chinese brand real, I mean, it is owned by China, is MG with the MG4 with 2,009 deliveries. That's a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, with, with the BYD's recent launch in Germany and with their, you know, bringing down the prices of their vehicles recently in, in Europe. I did expect to see some, uh, at least one model of BYD in this list here, but yeah, for some reason they aren't selling. I'm not really sure why. Anyhow, guys, if you have any uh, opinions on why BYD hasn't yet sold any really the cars or any Chinese brand hasn't really succeeded in Germany so far, I reported on those numbers last year, 
um, the statistics for Chinese car sales in Germany, there's a lot of concern that the German car market um, will be taken over partly by Chinese EVs, but yeah, as you can see, it hasn't happened yet. Tesla Model 3 sales, they're pretty far down the list, 1,790. So yeah, I think the Tesla Model Y is pretty clearly gonna win the EV market race here in Germany. The question is not really a matter of will it win, it's a matter of how many Tesla Model Ys can Tesla sell. And the other curious thing is, when are Tesla gonna have the new Juniper version of the Model Y? How long will it take before that hits the European car market? Because that should help Tesla possibly possibly have the best selling car again in the world. I mean, they had the best selling car worldwide last year. Can they do it again this year? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.